also. We're short. We're short? We are short. By how much? One student. One student? One stupid student. The, the, the dean really thinks that one student is going to make a difference? You know how anal he is with budgets. He's like, oh, if you get one more student this year, we won't have any financial issues. I mean, what the... That doesn't, make, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Wait. Oh. I don't know. Maybe he blames us for the pyromaniac who burnt down the science center. I mean... He had a good essay. How are we to know? And it was two years ago. So... So what does he want us? To, what does he want us to do? When does he want our recommendation by? Today. <laughs> Today. Or we're fired. We're fired. <laughs> That's what he said. Is he crazy? I don't know. Okay. We finished all of our interviews last week. We don't have anything scheduled. How how are we gonna get one more student? What? Let's look at the waitlist files. So I, like, I'm serious. If we don't find a diamond in the rough, we're out of here. Not the waitlist. Don't worry. They won't be that bad. These are mine, right? Yeah. Fine. I'll start making some calls. Keep your head up. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay, okay, I'm totally on it. I'm on it, trust me. I'm gonna push my 5 o'clock to 6, my Tuesday to Friday, and flip a thing with another thing I got, I got next month so don't worry about it. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah hold on. Uh, I'll be done in a few. I'm so grateful for our patience. I can't express that enough. We're gonna have a great combo. I can feel it. Okay, Chief, I gotta wrap this up. I'm psyched, I'm pumped, I'm hungry. We're gonna blow this out of water and blow people's minds. Uh, again, I appreciate your patience and your general attitude. You're an ace in the hole. Oh. It's my, it's my friend, Winnie. I, I just gotta... Stop being such a flaky bitch, Winnie. Oh my god. Ugh. I mean, love that girl, but wouldn't trust her with anything serious, you know what I mean? Okay. We'll, let's do this thing. You're pretty. You're 30 minutes late. Yeah, I know. I got caught up at this nightmare conference call, this lunch meeting, and this guy I'm dating. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's inconvenient for me, and I have other students. I know, I know. I, I got this mean and greet in fiber, so let's just blow those through this thing, shall we? Well, I guess. Well, okay, how about this? I take the reins here and skip the whole you ask questions thing. So here's me. I'm a self-motivator, I'm extremely competitive, and I'm the life of the party. I uh, love your school's aggressive economic program, is ties to Harvard Business School, and is Greek social scene. Gonna pledge Alpha Phi Alpha and Delta Chi Delta, depend depending on the pledge class. My stats are well above your average, so let's just make this thing happen. If you're in the boat, I'm driving the ship. We good? No. Not Bring it in, sister! Hey, girl. Yeah, I just have to do this lame face to face. Kidding me, I nailed it. It's. Brady Mitch. So, Aaron, let's cut straight to the chase. We both know that you have adequate grades and, and a very nice list of extracurricular activities. But here at our school, we would like to get to know our students a little bit more on the personal side. So, why don't you tell me about yourself? Um, Aaron? We don't have much time to waste here. It's Princess Piggy. Excuse me? I I, I it's didn't... Princess Piggy. Look, look, Aaron. Although your interest in stuffed animals is, well, interesting, but this is a college interview, so why don't we just focus on the important things? I mean, we don't have time for games. Ask Princess Piggy what you want, and maybe she'll tell you. Well, I'm supposed to be interviewing something called someone called Aaron Samuels and not... Princess Piggy. Look, Princess Piggy has been trying to obtain her own passport, but obviously that hasn't happened yet, so she had to fill in all her paperwork under the name Aaron Samuels. Well, Aaron, this Princess Piggy of yours is a stuffed animal. You do know that, right? 
Hey, as soon as Princess Piggy obtained her citizenship, she'll become a citizen just like you and me. Don't you dare badmouth Princess Piggy. Well, why don't why don't we carry on this conversation after Princess Piggy has all of her necessary that documents? That is only if Princess Piggy still wants to enroll in this university. God, can't you just pay some respect? Thank you for coming, Aaron. Oh, and Princess Piggy. Oh, uh, sorry, didn't know... Uh... Uh... Hello? Are you? What? You're awake. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asleep. I'm not asleep, okay? Oh, 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 oh right, sorry, so... Uh, it says here... Oh, we're behind schedule, let's get started. So, why do you want to be at our university? I don't know. You, you don't know. I just don't know, okay? God. Okay, well, fine. Um, do you have any interests? Interest? Stuff. Stuff. And things. Stuff and things. Yeah, stuff, things, and whatever. And whatever. Okay, um, anything school-wise? Hobbies? I tried starting a nap club once, but... Oh, man, it was so hard. A club where you nap? Yeah, you had to fill out forms and get signatures and get a... Uh... Okay, um... Okay, so, have you never been motivated in your life? Like, you wanted to do something really badly? Oh, there was this one thing I saw on TV the other day, and it really motivated me in a way. Really? Yeah, there was this woman on the news, and she went into a hospital, and then she was in a coma from this weird stroke, and it kept on trying to and trying to revive her, but I never figured it out. Hmm, so this made you interested in healthcare or medicine? No, it just made me jealous. This woman, she had like tubes feeding her and breathing for her, and it put on the TV all day. <sighs> you know, sometimes breathing is just, it's just so hard sometimes, you know. So this made you want to be in a coma? Totally. What's the matter? I'm just tired. Yeah, me too. And the audience is completely drenched! Oh wow! Needless to say, I never went to SeaWorld ever again. Look, Ben, everything looks great. Solid SATs, your GPA is way above our school's average, and your essay made me shed a few tears. And this is a great college. I'd be honored to attend. And we'd be lucky to have you. Are you applying to any other other universities? Nope, just here. Oh, that's, ah. that's great. So... So... Yes? Um, I guess I'm in then? Well, no, not, not yet. Sit down. Sit down, will you? There are forces at play, forces that you cannot conquer. Your life is in danger. It's not as simple as me just letting you in. In fact, there's much more going on behind the scenes. Uh, uh, please, you're, 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 freak, you're freaking me out. I would, but it's, it's, it's just not... Did you have it to my email?